Hey there, beautiful people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. It's around 1.20 a.m. here in Dhaka. Uh, kind of get a little bit colder. It last, like, got a little bit colder for the last two days. I think we had the final bite of cold and winter's, winter's actually going away. So I decided to uh, revisit some of my older fragrances, uh, kind of like redo my line talk. I actually did talk on this Bulgari line when I talk about the whole house, Bulgari man, aqua line. Bulgari Purom, Bulgari Blue, a lot of lines they have. But this one particular line, I actually uh, got to try a few more. Uh, it's the Bulgari Man line. Okay, I tried a few more in the line like the Oud Neroli, Oud Essence. Unfortunately, I don't have the Oud Essence with me. I had it, I reviewed it before I had a sample. Then we have a Glacial Essence, the latest flanker. So talk about a line because... You know, nowadays, a lot of new fragrances, kind of like uninspiring, just flanker after flanker. But there is a great line out there sometimes. We just uh, sometimes miss, you know. So if you are new here, like, you know, you like designer fragrance, welcome to the channel. And uh, we'll be just uh, looking at them very briefly. I reviewed them all. And basically what I'm going to show you, like some of my other Bulgari fragrance reviews I did. Bulgari Blue and then Bulgari Man. Sorry, Bulgari Purom, then Bulgari Oud Essence. I did it together with Poison Girl. And then the the Glacial Essence review. I did over the time like this Black Orient, which I have still here. Then the Extreme. Then I don't have this Black Cologne edition anymore with me. Sorry. And then, you know, basically I cover all of them. So let's see uh, quickly uh, what you get from this. If this line is worth looking at, which one's the best ones from this line and uh, which ones are redundant. Okay, uh, so here we go. So first thing, I think it's Alberto Morias who created this creation. And this is the ultimate masterpiece, I would say, from this line. Uh, many people would say who use this back in the time, they will agree with me. The see-through bottle discontinued now. This is the one that started the whole Bulgari man line, okay? Really nice looking bottles. This is the 100ml version I have. They had multiple bottle sizes. Some of the best features of these perfumes are this gunmetal plate at top and this Bulgari written here. Very nice. Atomizers are very, very good. No cap, but you can do this twisted and the atomizer come to this side. It doesn't spray anymore. Very, very effective, okay? I really like this and the sprayers are top notch. Let me just show you one spray. You'll understand. It shoots, shoots out really good juice. So... Uh, Bulgari is also makes ornaments and jewelry, so they have nice touches all over this bottle. So what's this fragrance does? And this one has also the spicy element. It's like a very spicy. At the same time, it cannot call it aquatic. In short, it's a mandarin citrus blast with touch of spices, pink pepper, this pepper, that pepper. So it's a very peppery masculine fragrance, very signature scent worthy. Some people get spotty longevity. I get very good longevity. I get at least six hours from this longevity. The CRG and pro like projection, it's kind of on the 7 out of 10, sort of. But this, the smell of it, it's really refined. And I actually would say if you're looking to buy some, you know, try some discontinued fragrance, this is one of them, okay? This one I definitely would keep. It's a keeper. Second one I'm going to talk about is this one is very well loved. This is a summer flanker also. The previous one, you can wear it in autumn and summer, but not strong enough for cold weathers. This one, I would say Bulgari Man Extreme. I bought it long time back, two, three years back. I don't think I have so much juice left. I think hardly about, I can see if you put the light through, about 5 ml or 3 ml left. This one is fantastic. This one is very masculine, same bottle. And uh, being the silver uh, era all around it doesn't matter you can put light you can see so what's the great thing about this fragrance is very nice fresh and this note of cactus very refreshing and it's less spicy but at the same time it's masculine unique and the fragrance lasted a fair bit it's long lasting uh, i don't know if this one is also uh, discontinued but this is one of the finest summer fragrances okay this one also is a keeper for me third one perhaps is the one that got the most love and this is my first from this line i bought this bottle is from malaysia that i bought uh bulgari man in black this is the time i started watching reviews steven red lessons other reviewers this fragrance had huge hype in that when it came out when it was the market was getting compared to spice bomb i did compare it with spice bomb and it's really really nice uh, another fragrance perhaps you can look at cartier uh declaration don soir intense that darker one <clears throat> that has that peppery vibe that's also kind of like a spicy fragrance or you can look at fandy fandy fragrances like that they're in the same ballpark so best thing about this fragrance is the tube rose it has tobacco booze i think 
it has leather a lot of these notes cover and actually sort of the ad was very nice it covered like volcano and stuff like that masculinity and the smell is absolutely stunning some people say it's not strong enough yeah fragrances like this they should make it strong but i think composition wise this was one of the best so if you ask me the first three are the three keepers for me this one for nighttime this is for summer and this one for autumn and spring very versatile signature scent worthy work this one good for gym this is good for date first three are gone then i did one uh i think there's a special edition did it was i think uh tattoo edition or something let me find it let me see hold on yeah, I was talking about this edition that I covered. I bought it and I sold it off. I didn't find it that special. A Bulgari Man in Black Essence Limited Edition. Okay, this was a limited edition because of the bottle. It had this tattoo and artwork by, a, I think, uh, I forgot which artist it was. Maybe uh, uh, someone from uh, Samoa or uh, one of the New Zealand Kiwi Islands. Okay, so that one and then they had a New Zealand, uh, what? All Blacks edition that I never tried. I heard very good. So these are hard to find. So that one was okay, but it's similar to the next one which is called black orient this one i bought uh, as a tester unit i believe long time back and this one yeah it's a side it will say tester yeah tester not for sale uh, this fragrance added some notes to it and it's very very potent this is the answer to bulgari man in blacks uh, kind of like middle of the road performance that people compare complained about same apparatus everything similar looking just the color should be different so this one the bulgari it is strong if you like strong perfume this is one of the strongest in this line okay i don't know about many other flankers but if you wanted uh man in black but it's a little bit more pepper and seriousness a little bit of oud synthetic oud this one does it it's very woody uh sweet uh at the same time it's very very piercing okay so this one is just missing the tube rose and a little bit the sweetness it's less sweet more spicy uh, but if you already have man in black i think uh, if you're happy with it perhaps you can tried but they are very similar in many ways but the performance on this is much better bulgari man black orient so then we had uh wood essence okay I, I bought that perfume then i sold it off uh something about that fragrance it looked like this bottle but just dark greener okay i have this miniatures of uh bulgari these other two so wood essence basically was sweet woody kind of like mild spicy fragrance not a brand new fragrance it's very similar to many other sweet woody fragrance in the market so i had a sample i guess i gave it to someone as a gift uh, i'm so sorry i if i had it it would be nice to show you but anyway uh that one is passed for me because that one it's very reminiscent like a tonka typical nothing new in that one very uninspiring release okay it was like i don't mind wearing it but i wouldn't have it you know what i mean i don't want to spend like 55 bucks for that one next one i'm going to talk about that came out afterwards is wood neroli this is the packaging there's a small little sample of 5 ml this is a splash okay so it's very cute bottle still you know similar shape to the other like the other bottles and it has 5 ml splash so great about great thing about this fragrance is it's very refreshing i like this one a lot it has good performance and it's very similar to a ferrari bright neroli and many other very like neroli based fragrances if you like uh say Mugler, Cologne, you know, tons of them out there. 4711, uh, Cologne or Tom Ford, Neroli, Port of, you know, this is in the same line. Nothing offers nothing new. If you do not have those fragrances, you should give it a try because of the performance. It's pretty good fragrance still. But it comes off redundant in my book because I have very bright Neroli, which is cheaper than this by half. Okay. So this is a good fragrance, but I don't need this full bottle. I just like to smell it once in a while like this. Okay. When I open it like this or so, so you can just have it once in a while very strong very beautiful scent but you know if you have too many neroli fragrance you can perhaps skip it last but not least was perhaps the worst <laughs> in this line i had it as a gift and this is a glacial essence this is called glacial essence it's edp concentration so the whole idea of this perfume i think they wanted to make it kind of like a uh i don't know in the iceland or something just give the cool breeze i forgot exactly what it was trying to do maybe cool breeze among the mountains and stuff like that really nice bottle had a lot of prospects and it has very good looking coloration really liked it and this one the small bottle is 15 ml this bottle is really nice because this one i think came with a sprayer this one you take out the whole thing it gives you a sprayer okay very nice and it's like a very uh, cute looking bottle cute smaller bottles always cute so why this fragrance did not work uh, this is a nice fragrance okay make no mistake it's a nice fragrance it's everyday usage this is good for summer this is good for summer uh this is good for summer 
as well as that one. But uh, problem with this fragrance is very reminiscent of Carina Herrera 212 VIP. Oh, sorry, 212 Men, the cylindrical bottle. Uh, peppery, grassy, um, green. Uh, kind of like opening is a bit different, a bit cooling, but the dry down follows that 212 Carolina Herrera Men, NYC. So that I found it to be uninspiring. Why? Why release this at this age? Uh, I did not feel like buying the full bottle now. It's available in Bangladesh in retail markets. But this I feel if you have 212 uh, NYC Men by Carolina Herrera, this one. Let me get the bottle if you missed it. Uh, this one. Sorry. A <laughs> lot of dust. Yeah. This one. Okay. 212 NYC men or 212 men. I have a 200 ml of it. So I feel that is already a very strong perfume, long lasting, peppery, and very uplifting. I don't need this one just for the bottle. Okay. So which ones are the must have? You choose which one you like, but this is a fantastic line. If you don't have anything from this line, try them out. Um, but if you want suggestion from me, the first three are absolute must haves. If you really want to buy Bulgari men line, this is really, really nice. Bulgari man original. It's I more and more I wore it, more and more I like it. It's watery, it's peppery, it's got orange, nearly kind of a nice mixture, and it stays for a very long time for what it is. And that the extreme version is very sporty, that cactus note stands out, sweet, fresh, and man in black is absolute masterpiece in terms of smell. If you want more powerful, go with black orient. So that's the uh, Bulgari man line talk. I'm so sorry I couldn't show you the three other ones I had before. Uh, if I had them, they'll be nice to display. But it's a nice line, okay? But people are forgetting day by day because of a lot of numerous, uh, you know, flankers and new releases. Sometimes good to look at all the lines for a change, okay? Take care, guys. Have a nice day. Time for another line talk. Take care. Bye-bye.